Satellite Imagery of Earth, Volcano Edition. Ten image scenes, starting with 1. An impressive snow-capped stratovolcano. Colima, the most active volcano in Mexico, rises abruptly from the landscape. It is the melding of two, an older, more eroded volcano to the north and a more recently active volcano to the south. Legend has it that gods sit atop this throne of fire and ice. About 85% of the world's stratovolcanoes and 90% of all earthquakes are located around the Pacific Plate margins, forming the Ring of Fire. 2. Surface deformation of an Aleutian Island caldera. Deformation can result from subsurface changes in magma supply and storage, an understanding of which can help volcanologists understand eruption dynamics. Such deformations can be mapped over time by satellites that use an active sensing technique called interferometric synthetic aperture radar. This works by measuring phase shifts in return radar waves, reading surface deformation in the order of centimeters and even millimeters. 3. Volcanic plume reaches record atmospheric height. A huge underwater eruption in the Pacific. Plume almost immediately visible to weather satellites. This plume rapidly shoots through the stratosphere and well into the mesosphere. A loss of buoyancy at this altitude causes the peak to collapse, while the plume continues to expand within the stratosphere. And atmospheric layers become increasingly visible, including the lower and upper stratosphere. Extraordinary superheated ocean moisture makes this an unprecedented event in the satellite imagery. 4. Lava flow from SP Crater Cinder Cone in northern Arizona. Situated at the edge of a volcanic cinder fields and lava flows, an exposed limestone layer of the Colorado Plateau. Basalt like this is some of the darkest rock on Earth, in major contrast to the surrounding light tan limestone and dry grass vegetation. And with this low reflectance extending through the visible, near IR, and shortwave IR parts of the spectrum, this basalt appears very dark in any reflected band combination. 5. An Icelandic volcano eruption and ash over Europe. In April 2010, there was a massive disruption to global air travel. This satellite image spans much of Europe, from France to Russia, and the ash is visible as a large tan-colored swath in cloud across the continent. Such ash is known to clog jet engines, potentially causing full engine failures. Higher res imagery of the source volcano a couple weeks later shows continued formation of an ash plume, a heavy blanket of ashfall over adjacent downwind terrain, and a separate column of steam from melting snow and glacier ice. 6. A river of fire in the snow, Mount Etna, Italy. This Landsat 8 thermal image shows coldest surfaces and darker blues, from about negative 10 to 0 degrees Celsius on north and south facing snowy slopes. Blotchy patterns show the erupting ash plume and cloud top surfaces. Comfortable 15 to 20 degrees surface temperatures for surrounding lowlands. And the thermal signature of a hot lava flow in yellow to red. Corresponding natural color imagery. In the surrounding Sicily lowlands, a couple urban areas are visible. In addition to aspect, ash related albedo differences may explain temperature differences between volcano slopes. The lava flow looks like a black scar, which can be highlighted with its thermal signature, 50 degrees Celsius threshold. Tourists ascend to observe this flow close up, causing safety concerns for rescue agencies. 7. An underwater eruption plume in the Solomon Sea, a region known for its impressive volcanic islands and barrier reef systems, is also known for underwater eruption plumes of superheated acidic waters rich in particulate matter and solutes. Higher resolution imagery shows the plume in great detail, and underwater footage from within this volcanic crater surprised many and raised questions about the ecology of this extreme environment. Eight, a volcanic complex in the sand. Near the northern tip of the Gulf of California, in the sandy Sonoran Desert of northwest Mexico, is the Pinacata Peaks, containing hundreds of cinder cones, associated lava flows, and many impressive mars, formed when magma contacts groundwater to produce a steam explosion crater. Due to the high contrast between these relatively dark volcanic rocks and yellow desert sands, as well as the size of this volcanic field, this is a notable landform feature of the North American continent, often easily visible from space. 9. A relatively rare lavadome eruption, 2008 to 9, 
Capture in satellite imagery. Chile. Such dome eruptions of low viscosity rhyolite are dangerous and unstable. Act domes are steep sided features, highly prone to collapse, lateral explosions, and pyroclastic flows, extremely hot rock, ash, and gas. This recent eruptive episode lasted a couple of years, killing a large swath of downslope and downwind forest with subsequent regrowth during the last 15 years. The fresh new domes filled a significant volume of the much older Caldera Basin. 10. Lava Below the Haze 2018 Volcanic Event at Kilauea, Hawaii Regarded as the most active in the world, this shield volcano has been a state of near-continuous eruption since 83. Lava flows may not be apparent at visible wavelengths, as that light doesn't penetrate ash, smoke, and cloud. But absorption is inversely proportional to wavelength, so by changing to a band combination that incorporates a swir band, you can make out the lava, as that energy largely penetrates the atmospheric haze. This is even more so at longer thermal IR wavelengths, allowing for a system of global near real time monitoring of Earth hotspots by combining MODIS and VERS satellite data. Here are thumbnails and titles for the 10 volcano themed satellite imagery scenes reviewed in this video. Is there one of these that you found most interesting? Let me know in the comments. See video text for methodology and data sources. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe or watch more Geography Viz.